Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be going over problems with you that have to do with division with remainders. Now this paper is really an introduction to division with remainders. We're not really going to be interpreting the remainder very much. We're going to start talking about how when we divide, there are sometimes leftovers or remainders. And these are very simple problems that can be easily solved using pictures and skip counting. And so if you'd like a little bit more um, interpret interpreting with remainders, you can look in the description below and find more videos and in information and products about interpreting the remainder. But today we're gonna to start more towards the beginning of what it means to divide with a remainder. So let's go ahead and solve this together. Number one says, Jothi was putting her clothes away in her dresser. She wanted to put 59 pieces of clothing, which clothing into her dresser, which had eight drawers. She wanted to put the same number of clothes in each drawer. How many pieces of clothing would fit in each drawer? Did all the clothes fit? How many did not fit? So whenever I'm dividing, I do need to make sure I'm writing out my equation. And my equation can look like this. I know that I have 59 pieces of clothing. I'm dividing it into eight drawers, which are my groups, eight equal groups. I can also set up my division like this, 59 divided by eight. Either one of these is acceptable. Now, the picture that I'm going to draw right now is I'm going to take my divisor, my dividend is 59, dividing by my divisor, which is eight, and I'm looking for my quotient, or how many clothes she's going to fit in each drawer. So I'm going to divide 59 into eight groups like this, and I usually do circles with my group, so I'm gonna just do really simple circles to represent eight groups or eight drawers. Now, if you really wanna draw your picture, you can draw a dresser and draw eight drawers in your dresser. That would be fine too. Now, I'm gonna take 59 and I'm gonna divide it evenly or distribute 59 articles of clothing into each drawer. And when I do it, I'm going to write it out evenly like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I had 59 pieces of clothing, I've divided eight into my drawers, and I'm gonna keep dividing until I hit the number 59. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Now I'm going to make tallies. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now I'm up to 59. Now I'm going to keep going. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 54, 55, 56. And I'm going to stop right there because if I keep counting to another group of eight, I'm going to hit 64 and she didn't have 64 pieces of clothing, she had 59. So I'm gonna say, oh, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going to have some leftover articles of clothing. I know that right now I have 56 pieces of clothing in drawers, so I'm gonna count over here. 57, 58, 59. So these three pieces of clothing right there, they're leftover, they did not fit in her drawers, they're my remainder. So how many pieces of clothing would fit in each drawer? that would be seven pieces of clothing in each drawer. And how many? Seven fit in each drawer. And did all the clothes fit? No, they did not all fit. How many did not fit? Well, these three right here did not fit. So I'm gonna say three did not fit, that's my remainder. My answer is seven remainder three. Now, another way to solve this is to skip count. You have to look at your equation and I see that eight is my divisor. So I'm making groups and I'm going to make eight groups. So I'm gonna count by eight and I tell my students to count like this. I'm gonna skip count until I hit the number 59 before I pass it. Eight, 16, 24, 32, I'm skip counting by eight, 40, 48, 56, now stop right there. If I skip count one more time by eight, I'm going to write the number 64. And I cannot pass my dividend, I cannot pass 59. So I'm gonna say 56, I made it there, and now I'm gonna count by ones. 57, 58, 59. Here is my remainder. How many groups of eight did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of eight. 
and I have three left over, and that matches my answer, seven remainder three. So this is a faster way, if you need help figuring out your remainder, this is a faster way to get it by skip counting by your divisor. All right, let's do number two together. Mrs. Lozano was putting pencils in cups. She had 35 pencils she wanted to place evenly into four cups. How many pencils went into each cup? Were any pencils left over? Well, I know I have 35 pencils and I'm gonna place them evenly into four cups. So let me go ahead and set up my equation. 35 pencils divided into four cups and I'm going to get my answer. I can also set it up like this. Now, I know my divisor, my fours. When I skip count by four, I never say the number 35. So in my mind that tells me, oh, this is definitely going to have a remainder. So now I wanna set it up with a picture that also counts out my 35, but it sets it up in a different way from this picture, and you can use either. I'm going to set up four groups. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to divide my 35 pencils evenly into these four groups, like this. One pencil here, 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 here. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That's the last time I can count it out where I can fit each pencil in the cup evenly. Now, I'm at 32, but I have to count out all 35 pencils, so I'm gonna say 32, 33, 34, 35. Now my groups are uneven and I wanted them to be even. So these three pencils right here, those are my remainder. And I'm going to circle those so I know where they are. Now the skip counting is exactly what we did up here. I'm going to skip count by my divisor, which is four. And I'm going to say, okay, I know that she wanted to place the pencils into four cups and she wanted them to be even, so I'm gonna skip count to see how many groups of four can I get out of 35. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, oh, and I will stop because if I skip count by four again, I'm gonna hit 36 and I cannot pass this number here. So I'm gonna say 32, 33, 34, 35, and there is my remainder. So my answer to how many pencils went into each cup? Well, how many went in? I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pencils went into each cup. And how many pencils were left over that didn't fit in a cup? Well, three, and that's my remainder. How many pencils went into each cup? Eight, and were any pencils left over? Yes, three pencils were left over. So you can draw groups like this, or you can draw groups like this. You can even draw the picture itself so that you can understand your division a little bit better in these real life situations. Let's do one more together. Mr. Owens bought a large bag of candy to make candy bags for the guests at his son's birthday party. The large bag of candy had 50 pieces of candy. He needed to divide the candy evenly into nine smaller candy bags. How many pieces of candy would each kid get? Would there be any candy left over? So I know that my division is 50 divided by nine. And if you know your nines, you know that when you skip count by nine, nine, 18, 27, you're never gonna say the number 50. So that should clue you in. You know what? This is not even division. I can divide it, but I'm going to have a remainder. So I want to make nine groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I wanna divide 50 candies into each bag evenly. These groups represent bags. So I'll divide it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we distribute evenly into each candy bag. Twenty-seven, 
28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Now, if I keep going, I'm going to end up hitting 54, and I cannot pass 50. So I'm going to say 45 is here, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So how many pieces of candy would each kid get? Well, let's look inside my groups. Each kid would get five pieces of candy. Would there be any candy left over? Yes. There were five pieces right here. Five pieces left over. So my answer is five, remainder five. And I'm gonna take my divisor, which is nine, and I'm gonna skip count by nine to represent division with remainders in a skip counting way. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and I'm going to stop. If I list 54, which is the next number in my nines pattern, my, my multiple, I pass 50 and I cannot pass 50. I have to go up to 50. So 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And I have five remainders here, five pieces of candy, and how many groups of nine was I able to make evenly? One, two, three, four, five groups of nine. And that matches my answer here. Now let's do one more together. Mrs. McDonald was putting books on shelves. She needed to place 43 books on five shelves. She wanted the same number of books to fit on each shelf. How many books would fit equally on each shelf, and did any books not fit? So my division here is 43 divided by 5. And I know my 5s. I can skip count by 5. And I know when I skip count by 5, I never say the number 43. So in my mind, I know I'm going to have a remainder. So let's go ahead and set up my groups like I did up here. It's a different way to do it, and you can do either way. One, two, three, four, five groups, and that represents the five shelves. And I'm going to go ahead and show dots to represent how many books are going on each shelf evenly. I will distribute my books evenly. So one for this shelf, one for this shelf, one for this shelf, one and one. That's five books on shelves. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And I know that these three books right here are not going to fit on those shelves. I'm only going to be able to fit eight on those shelves, and these three will be my remainder. So I have a remainder of three. So I'm going to take my five shelves, and I'm going to count by fives, skip count, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and I'll stop there because if I skip count to 45, I'm going to pass my dividend, and I don't want to do that. 40, 41, 42, 43. Here is my remainder, and I see that my remainder matches this picture, so the skip counting can help you get your answer a little bit faster. Okay, so let me answer the questions. How many books would fit equally on each shelf? Well, that was eight books on each shelf. Did any books not fit? Yes, there were three books that did not fit. And now I've answered my question. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to find the resources used in this video, be sure to look in the description below. Have a great day.